Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Nick, also known as Tetra Ninja. You can call me either or. And today's video is a little bit different than the typical vlog video or update video that I normally do on Sunday. Uh, this is a little bit more of a promo video for a product that I really, really love. And if you guys have been with the channel for a long time, well, I'm talking like years and years ago, like three years ago, I actually did a review on these products. And like I said, I absolutely love them. Uh, what these are, they are FPS Freaks, uh, which are... Uh, joystick extensions for your controllers for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and the science behind it is with that a little extra half inch uh, you get more precision and versatility in your fingers uh, therefore increasing the accuracy and even though when I first got them when I first tried them out I struggled a little bit just because it uh, felt uh, a little bit awkward um, but uh, within half a day uh, I was used to them and I honestly cannot play with them anymore um, I actually buy extra ones so I can bring over to my friend's house. Uh, so just in case his controllers don't have them, uh, so if I'm using his Xbox controller, I just I really can't function without them. And to give you an example of what they look like on a controller, uh, here's an Xbox 360 controller right here uh, with uh, with the extension on the right joystick. I only use them on the right joystick. I find that uh, there's really no benefit to having them on the on the left one so I only use them on the right and as you can see from this angle uh, that's the extra half inch that you get and once again uh, that ha extra half inch makes a world of difference for extra precision and accuracy but yeah that's an Xbox 360 controller um, I haven't been using that one as much in terms of that controller I really I stick with this controller right here uh, this is the Razer Anza Tournament Edition uh, the, but uh, special Dragon Age one just because I like the red finish. I have a re I have another uh, regular term edition Razor on so which is green, but I can't find it right now. But same thing as before. Uh, once again, gives you the extra half inch, and even though uh, it takes a little bit of tinkering with because it's not uh, this, this controller wasn't designed or the FPS freaks weren't designed specifically for this controller. It was more designed for the generic Xbox 360 controller. With a little bit of tinkering, you can see it does get on there fairly well, and. Uh, yeah, so it works fairly well even if you're using a Razer Anza. Uh, I love this controller a lot. Um, I, I would have done a review on it, but I think like everyone in this community did a review on this, on this controller, so uh, there's really no point in me doing so. But if you're looking for a sweet controller, I suggest that you check this one out. It's, uh, it's the same price as a OEM Microsoft controller. But yeah, those are the Xbox controllers I have, and these are this is the... Uh, PlayStation 3 controller I use. Once again, it's this exact same product except for this one has a white base uh, just because uh, this is actually the very first FPS Freak that I bought, uh, the white ones, just because I thought it would look cool but it kind of clashes a bit. So yeah, this is a PlayStation 3 controller. Once again, I only use it on the right analog. And what I was finding was that so when I'm not playing first-person shooters, I really don't like to have this on just because it feels weird playing like an action, uh, action adventure or an RPG with it. So uh, I always took it off, but I find that trans when you take it off and you're kind of transitioning back into the FPS freak when you are playing first person shooters, it's a little bit of adjustment. So uh, FPS uh, actually mitigated this problem by, re re uh, re by introducing their CQC version or close quarters combat version of the FPS freak, which basically means that it's about half the size of a normal one. I don't know if you guys can, if I can hold these steady right here. So it's not as high. So if you're transitioning back and forth, once again, if you're playing like, if, it, if you find these are too high even for your first person shooters, uh, you can go a little bit, just half that size. And once again, um, this is what I use for my RPGs and action adventures that I usually play on my PlayStation. So that is the, uh, the CQC version of the, of the F FPS Freak right there. And here's the full on version. I don't know if you guys can see the difference or not. But yeah, uh, what I usually do with these versions, I actually play with both of them on, on the controller. If I'm not playing a first-person shooter, these are the only FPS freaks that I use both of them on. It's the half CQC version. But yeah, um, like I said, I I can't play without these. <laughs> in all honesty, and I have, like I said, I have a bunch of them just kick, kicking around. Anytime I need to get up and go to a friend's house, I don't want to take them off my controller. I just throw it in my pocket and then I just break it out. And people are always asking, what the hell is that thing? What are you doing to my controller? And I just explain to them. And my friends have tried it and they've transitioned and a lot of them have actually started using it as well. So yeah, um, I like these products a lot. And Control Freak actually uh, reached out to me and offered me a little bit of like a, 
like a partnership kind of deal where they gave me a unique code which I will allow which will allow me to give to you guys and when you buy anything off their site it will basically give you 10% off anything. Um, there are other YouTube partners who probably have the same deal. I know Dunkus and I think Muzzafuzza has the same thing going around and they absolutely love them. And I think Bendra has one too and they can't play without them and like I said I can't play without them and this is kind of just my chance to um, kind of give you guys a chance to try them out if you guys haven't heard of them but which you probably have but I don't know so uh, what you guys will find is in the link in the description will be uh, the link or the URL to my to my unique code for their uh, their my unique URL for their website or code and when you check out once you've decided on everything that you want to purchase uh, all you have to do is just input the code which is Tetra Ninja which is the promo code it's pretty easy it's just my username for my channel no space in between and at the checkout it will give you 10% and I'm not going to be lying to you guys I am getting something out of it uh, in return from Control Freak I can't really due to uh, my contract with them specify what exactly I get back from them but just know that by you purchasing it using that that URL and using that code you guys are helping me out just a little bit I don't plan to make an absolute killing on this uh, on this partnership with Control Freak but I just find it cool that I'm allowed to have partnerships with products that I actually absolutely love and uh, and I like like products I support and actually love but yeah that's pretty much the end for the video end of the video like I said um, try them out uh, they're only 10 bucks each sometimes you actually go on sale for uh, a little bit cheaper than that but for 10 bucks you really can't go wrong they make awesome gifts for friends if you want your friends to try them out as well and if you guys find out that you don't like them uh, then it's only 10 bucks right I find that 9 out of 10 people actually like them uh, or love them it's only that 1 out of 10 or 10 percent that really can't play with them which is to be expected uh, everyone has different tastes in holding the controllers and uh, and playing so yeah but yeah, like I said, uh, try them out if you haven't already. Um, if you are on the fence of trying them out, I, I highly suggest it. Uh, like I said, I've been playing with them for three years now, and I can't play without them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, hopefully you guys test them out. And if you do test them out, or if you use Control Freaks yourself, uh, let me know in the comment box uh, how long you guys have been using them. And if you, if you tried them out, maybe you didn't like them, let me know why. And that's pretty much it for today. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. All right, Have a fantastic day.